Hey you, and welcome back to Vanilla Railworld for Beginners in Factorio version 0.17. This is episode 37. We're going to uh, we're going to try to increase our throughput in a couple of different ways. My name is Satchmo. Thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate you taking the time. Uh, we're going to look at the first problem. We're going to try to solve some problems before we expand the base any further. I want things to be running kind of optimally. And what I'm noticing is that I'm not getting enough yellow science. You see it's dried up over here. And part of that reason is because several of these machines aren't even working. This first guy is not getting the um, the low density structures he needs. They're going back too fast, which would be it would I want these to be backed up. It would be ideal. Um, and then these two guys aren't getting them at all because these middle four machines are sucking them all up. <clears throat> so let's work on that. Let's go down and take a look at low den low density structures. Where are those being where are those being produced? Um, all of their inputs are completely full. So, to produce more of them, I would need to... There's two things you can do. You can always make more machines. I can come out here and make more, or I can put them up here, wherever I have to do it. Um, or you can use productivity modules. And I think we're going to get into productivity modules this episode. Okay? Uh, before we do that, let's take a little bit... Let's take a look further down the line. Um... Here's another place. Productivity modules would help a little bit. Is that uh, red circuits? Now, red circuits input again. It's not a throughput problem because our pla all, all our inputs are all backed up. Our plastic, our green circuits, and our copper wire are all backed up down to the last uh, machine. So all of these machines are operating uh, as fast as they can. Let's take a look at the modules real quick because we haven't spoken about them. You have three different types. You have speed modules, which are these blue ones. You have efficiency modules, which are the green ones. And you have productivity modules, which are the red ones. And then each of these have three different tiers. So far, I've only locked two tiers. So we have one with the little circle, and then we have two, and then we have one and two, one and two. Um, either way, they just do more of the same thing. So speed modules are going to increase machine speed at a cost of increased energy consumption. So they use more electricity, but they also work faster. All that's going to do is going to decrease the time, the cycle time of each one of these. Okay. Uh, the efficiency module decreases machine energy consumption, uh, and that's all it does. It just makes the machines consume uh, less energy, which uh, reduces your pollution as well. So if you're having a problem... Uh, providing enough energy to your factory. That's one thing that you can do is you can increase the efficiency of your items. That's pretty helpful, uh, but we're not going to do it. Uh, the productivity module says we'll create extra products at a cost of increased energy consumption and reduced speed. So they're going to use more energy and they're going to go slower, but every so often they will actually produce for free an extra unit. And that's what's important here is that you're actually not going to be consuming any more products. So it says five electric circuits and five advanced circuits to create one of these. You're not going to be con consuming any more than that. It's just going to get, you're just going to get like a free bonus one every now and then. So that's pretty cool. So the way things typically work is that if you, the, the, most people I think would go with the productivity modules because it's literally free stuff. And you can put this on intermediary products. So anything under this tab, you can uh, you can increase. So even the science, you can get free science out of it. You can get free low density structures out of it. You can get free uh, advanced circuits and stuff. Uh, you can also put these on ore on minor drills, I believe, as well. And you can get essentially free ore. You can expand the the, the patch. So this is what we're going to work on today: is these productivity modules. Um, I have seen really cool builds where you can make factories for all this stuff and it, they're really kind of clever uh, i haven't done one or I've, I've used the blueprint in the past and it's been a long time since so i don't remember how to do it so i'm going to try to do that on camera today so we are going to build a little factory that is going to produce productivity modules in the future i may expand that to do other things but for today we're just going to make productivity modules and we're going to try to make productivity module two so this is what we're going to be going for right so let's look at it Productivity module 2 requires red circuits, blue circuits, both of which are on the bus. And they require productivity module 1. Productivity module 1 requires green and red, which are again on the bus. So the only thing I need to make in all of this is one of these, so I can make one of these. Uh, let's think about it. Every 30 seconds you get one of these, and it requires 4 productivity modules. Productivity modules take... 15 seconds to produce one 
So the idea here is that you need two of these for every one of these, right? So every every 30 seconds, if you had two of these, you would create four, and that would satisfy this requirement. So it's a two-to-one ratio here. Um, these don't need to be done particularly fast, but, you know, I want them to be done somewhat fast. So let's say... If I may, so 1 would be every 30 seconds, 2 would be every 15, 3 would be every 10 seconds. Let's do that. Let's do 3 of these. So I get 1 every 10 seconds. Yeah, let's do that. 3 would be every 1 every 10 seconds, and then so I'm going to need 6 of these. Alright, so let's think about that. Nope, I don't have enough um, assembling machines. I'm just going to make a request for that, so I don't have to go get them. All right. In the meantime, though, I can use my ghosts if I need to. I need to be at least at the blue. Well, that's okay because I can pull it on top. So, um, I was gonna say in terms of where I put this factory, I need to be able to access the blue circuits. So, all right. Um, I like building things bottom to top, you know. So, let's just pull this out as far as it'll go. Let's pull one more just so I can kind of get an idea. And then two to every one, so one, two, three, four, another one of these, five, six. So these will be productivity modules. And I'll probably do direct insertion. Yeah, let's pretend to do direct insertion. I say pretend, I mean, let's actually do direct insertion. I don't know if I'll need this space or not, but we'll see. Again, no, I'm doing this for the first time on camera, so um, I may make some mistakes here, but we'll we'll check it out and see. Um, this will be productivity module two, une de toi. Okay. Um. These require two different things. How many of each? Five and five over the course of 30 seconds, not a big deal. Um, if that's the case, if that's the case, then these don't need to be separated. These can be, these can be here. There's no reason to have them that far away. I was thinking something else, but I don't, I don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and grab some, uh, make a request for um, inserters. Get about a hundred of those would be nice. And they'll come bring them to me. In the meantime, I can plant ghosts if I need to. Uh, it's some... Um, there we go. Two. Part two, module two. Okay. Let's think about the inputs here. These guys just need red and green. Which all can be satisfied with one belt. Or one inserter. Oh, here's the red and green split off right here. Be handy if I can just... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. These things aren't going to be done very often. Sometimes I realize that I'm, I'm saying stuff that people probably don't catch. What I'm trying to say is, is that this, this factory isn't going to be working all the time. So this is more often than not going to be backed up. So I don't mind splitting it off. If these were two factories that would be working pretty often, then this would be too much um, strain, I would think. But anyway. So there we go. And yeah, already these guys are all working. And these guys are uh, soon to start receiving product. Okay. And now I'll also need... Let's do it. In, oops, out, in, in, out, out, in. Okay. Um, let's do this instead. Let's do out on a common belt. And then we'll put that in a box so i don't have to have three different boxes we'll do this you know so it goes into a common box and that will be a passive provider chest right there capped off at uh four i don't really remember how many i don't know we'll just do that i don't remember how many go in a stack 
Um, this is going to take a long time to do, to do anyway, so. Okay, and then also that's facing the wrong way. And then the input here, which the other two inputs are red and blue circuits. So, let's do that. Wow. Wow. A lot of amazing red, uh, misclicking there. So, one right there. Under. One right there. Over. Oh, get out of the way. Pipes. Stupid pipes. They made me look bad. Alright, those go in. And that should be a cool little factory. That should start producing these guys around about once every 10 seconds. Cool. Yep, everybody's getting what they need. Um, I am not satisfying the... Well, these things are going to be the first thing to be productivity moduled anyway. Oh, okay, new problem. Look, now I'm hurting for green. Which is another problem to solve. So we're just kind of solving our problems backwards is the idea. So this is putting in a new strain on things. And we're going to go figure out what, what the green is. In fact, I already know what the green is. But anyway, okay. So now this is working. If I had more green circuits, then I would have more red. And if I had more red, then I would have more of these. But in the meantime, we're just going to let this build up and go into here. Okay. Neat. I'm also going to make a request for those. Which are right there. And so that whenever they finish, they'll, the robots will just come bring them to me. So I can have them. Uh, where is mine auto? Down here. All right, and now we're going to solve problems backwards. So yeah, green circuits, which is going to be copper. The answer here is that it's copper. I know I need more copper. So more copper. Let's just do it on the map. So I don't have to drive everywhere. So my copper is hurting because I'm pulling everything in on one line, which I knew was the case anyway. Not a big deal. Um, and that's because I only have one line of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another smelting column right here. Um, I, you know, I could just do this from the map. Check this out. Boop. Oh, a little further out. The splitter's in the way. Put it there anyway. I'll fix this little splitter problem. You know what? Watch this. There we go. Okay. And then let's go solve that problem. Um, we're going to need electric, um, electric smelting, which are over here. Ooh, tight drive. Some of this is going to be built. 50, 100. I don't think I actually need that many, but... That's fine. Um, 100 fast inserters. I'll go grab some more. Uh, power pole, 48. I'm going to grab more of those as well. No! Oh, also, while I'm in base, sometimes I forget. I turn. I have to turn my personal one off. Otherwise, the robots go do stuff I don't really want them to go do. Let's go over here and grab some more fast inserters. A hundred more of those would be nice, and some more power poles. I kind of wish I had to put this factory before I would have put the science factory, but c'est la vie. A hundred more of those would be nice, and belts. I'm looking on belts. Fine, I'm fine on belts. Um, I know I don't have any yellow belts, and technically the blueprint calls for yellow belts, but we're going to well, we're going to take a look at that in a minute, and you'll see. You'll see why I'm not bothered by it. Oh, these guys are already done. So turn on my report, and then everybody flies out. Very neat. 
I'm going to replace these yellow belts with red belts. This will be a little bit more expensive, kind of like needlessly expensive, but uh, again, the cost of things, you know, kind of late game is not really a concern. We'll go a little bit, let these guys charge. Go a little bit, let these guys charge. There we go. So it's not so annoying. And there we go. Very cool. These don't need to be all the way out there. I need to modify my blueprint to fix that. Um, and then now I can go ahead and redo that whole thing. Oops. Uh, requester chest. Oops. There it is. Request. Uh, this is copper. Copper. A thousand copper. What does it matter? Okay, there we go. Do I have any more inventory? I do. Get out. Get out. Anything else? You get out. You get out. While I'm here, you go away. Um, leave everything else for the time being. All right. Very cool. And let's go plug this in. So the reason I'm converting these to red belts is because if you have a... You have to think about the ratio of the things. So um, one, one red belt is two yellow belts. And so that's what I had is I have one red belt coming in with a red splitter splitting into two full yellow belts. And that two full yellow belts is what you need to satisfy all this number of um, smelters. Well, the thing is that if you still split a red belt onto two red belts, it's just going to be half a red belt worth of product, which is still going to be equal to... It's going to be equivalent to what a yellow belt would be anyway. So whether or not I put yellow belts or red belts down here after the splitter is, is, is kind of irrelevant. Let's go ahead and let's think. Let's go take a look real quick at where I'm pulling this from. I'm pulling it from the rightmost lane. So let's... Uh, While I'm thinking about it, let's just try to f fix this a little bit. Something like that would be better. Alright, and we're going to plug this in and essentially double our copper in the base once the... get off the tracks. Okay. And this seems to be holding up just fine, satisfying that number. Um, this will put a little bit more strain on the train. I have to, If I have to, I'll just put another train in and we'll do that. See, we're kind of solving problems backwards here. Um, regardless, okay, there we go. Copper's coming in. That's going to satisfy... That, I have to make sure that the output is plugged in properly. Yeah, unfortunately, these guys have done that. Um, let me do this just to, just to give them something to do. Uh, okay, so that's where that's going. This is going on the left side. And... That works for now. There we go. Copper starting to come in. It is. Here we go. So there we go. If you look at it, it's just, it's the same. Oh, these are red belts now. Here we go. They turn into yellow belts right there. It doesn't matter. You get the idea. It doesn't matter. I don't need to explain it anymore. So here we go. Copper ore comes all the way down. These are starting to be made, and they're going to flood into the base um, after a moment. 
Let's take my car with me, because I don't think I'll be coming back for a while. Whee! Alright, so now I have... I don't need that on anymore. I am going to leave this splitter here just to just to combine these two equally. Um, just in case something happens and they or they go unequal for some reason. But they shouldn't because they're balanced prior to this. But anyway, here we go. Now I'm outputting nearly a full red belt. There it is. Yeah, it should be a full red belt. So I'm outputting two full red belts, which is being split into four full red belts. And this should... This should really start increasing the uh, the throughput. Quite a lot. There we go. A lot of this stuff is backing up. Okay. Um, something else I want to do. I'm just not going to do it yet. Is and I have been saying this several times. It's like I'm, I'm pulling off the left lane. What I want to start doing is I want to pull pull off the left lane and then pull off of the second to left lane, and then either balance all four after that or split off of the third one we'll see but there are ways to, to kind of split off of these lanes a little bit more efficiently so i'm not just continuing to pull off the left constantly because you see what happens here is that these two continue to draw and then now these two are backed up and so and yeah we really don't want that so all right copper is starting to make its way all the way down to the end here the more of these back up there we go now it's starting to back up Hopefully this backs up enough to where I completely flush out these lines. I'm not going to stand here and stare at it too much. But look at it. Yeah, it is starting to back up. And the more these things back up, the better. So once these start backing up, then they'll be sending all of the excess to the other splitters. Which will increase, increase their throughput. Yep, which is beginning to happen now. Alright, this lane of copper has made it all the way to the end. So these guys are completely satisfied. And same should be true here. Yeah, we're starting to satisfy. I don't know about completely or not, but yeah, they're starting to back up. Yep, starting to back up here. Okay, so that is the maximum amount that this factory can produce. It is now uh, producing at maximum efficiency. Cool. Let's get this out of my inventory. I have 16 productivity modules. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is enough just to satisfy these green circuits. However, I don't think green circuits need them. Eventually, I'll do everything, but uh, they don't need them the most right now. They're not the worst hit. Because I think with that copper, now this is going to start backing up everywhere. Yeah, and indeed it is. Yeah, green's going to back up, so I don't really need those. Um, I could use them here. Here we go. Now let's take a look at that the, the impact that that's going to have. When you click on them, you get a second bar here. And um, now the cycle does slow down a little bit. Like this bar comes across a little slower, but it's made up for by the fact that this bar, is, when this bar completes, it's going to create a third product for you. It's going to create a brand new product um, that you otherwise wouldn't get. So essentially these machines are together yeah, just making free stuff. So that's always pretty cool. Right on. And then now we, um, yeah, we have to kind of play this game for a little while. So here we go. We are still at the place where, thank you, robot. We're still at the place where the red circuits are our bottleneck. We're just not producing a re enough red circuits to, to make it. And we will be fixing that soon, I think. I think we're going to start fixing that pretty soon. I'm seriously considering putting a whole another one of these factories like here. Just drawing off, just putting a gap here, drawing off these three belts, like splitting all three of these belts, and then coming up here and making another one. And then coming back down and merging them right here. 
Um, it's just a lot of red circuits. You, you need so many red circuits. Same thing is true of blue. Blue you need even more of. But all of my blue circuits are being... um, They're backing up because you, you kind of use less of them. Fewer of them. But anyway... Um, okay, let's think a little bit more. Okay. How many more modules do I have? Just the one? So I'm going to have to kind of let this kind of let this work for a little while and come back to it. Um, is it 25 minutes so far? What else can we do this episode to help things out? Um... Let's check on the inputs over here. Okay. Okay, so that one just ran out. So this box is empty and the train's going away. So this train is pretty much just going as fast as it can. And these guys are full. Okay, let's put another train. Let's do that real quick and that'll be the end of this episode. Um, car, I left at the beginning of the factory, I think. Or towards the beginning of the factory. Let's look before I walk. I did. I left it at the beginning of the bus. Yeah. While those productivity modules are being created, we can go down here and put down a second copper train. And we'll make sure that that, that whole project works. Um, I need train things. Yeah, I don't have any train, train things in my inventory. Like trains. I have train things. I have rails. But that's not what I need right now. Here we are. I need one. Oh, that's too many. I just need two locomotives. And I'm sorry. You know what? Let's just take these because I might use them in the future. Two of those and a handful of those. Thank you, buddy. Bye. Go away. All right, um, car, yeah, I'm sorry, car, I was looking for my car again, it's down here, where is it, there it is, all right, um, my, uh, Dark Souls videos, Dark Souls are, are doing well, they're pretty fun. Um, I'm really enjoying myself. Let's put the train. Let's just build it right here, for, just for the time being. Yeah, really enjoying myself. I've mentioned it before. If uh, if you guys want to check that out, please feel free to. Um, look about us. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Why are you closed? That's funny. Um, and then I have some wood nearby. I can pop you full of wood. Pop you full of wood. Put the rest in this box. Okay. Can I... This is a good question. Can I copy this train? Can I control... Left-click that train. And control... Or, I'm sorry, control right click, control left click. You can. Oh, it did, yeah. So you can copy and paste the train instructions too. So I just made a duplicate of that train, which is the copper train. Turn him to automatic and see what he does. Let's take a ride. Press enter the ride. Um, first thing he does is his first stop was at the, was at the station. So that's fine. He goes in there and realizes he doesn't have any inventory, so now he sallies forth. He drives around. Nope, he also needs to be refueled. I have that in the path, too. He's going to realize that they can't input because he's still running on wood. So that's fine. So he goes to two completely useless stops first. That's fine. And then he comes... Yeah, so anyway, while he's working, I can talk for a minute. Um, the Dark Souls playthrough. 
a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, definitely a difficult game. Um, right now, I am at the point... My, my recording versus releasing dates are way off, so this might be a little bit of a sneak preview for you. But um, I'm at the part where I'm fighting the... Um, there's like these two um, dragon-type monsters. I forget what they call them. Gargoyles. Bell gargoyles. All right, I'm fighting the, the twin bell gargoyles at the top of the church, um, which is really giving me a hard time. I might try to record another episode of that here in just a little while, actually. And... Um, 101k. 1.1. Yeah, I, I think I've kind of given it some thought, and I realize what I can do to help to uh to help out help myself out with that so but anyway that's a lot of fun uh, i put up a card up there i should have if i remember to put a card up here in the corner for you to go check that out if you are so interested and uh yeah i'd really appreciate it if you guys did that but obviously there may not be crossover from the type of people who like factoria and the type of people who like dark souls but uh, either way this is going to hurt my pollution Boop. because now we have two trains oh here we go this is what i wanted to see See this train? He stopped early and waited for this guy to go. So now I have... Yeah, so now as soon as he comes back, he's filling up. Very cool. Which is exactly the, exactly the plan. So, and then here he comes. Cool, and I can drop myself off here. So that was a fun little tour. And now, with two trains... We should be able to really pack these boxes full of uh, of copper, and that would be that would be ideal. That would be ideal. Let's put a little bit of strain in that iron, that coal patch over there, co copper patch, whatever. But it is what it is. Now the only concern is that, well, it's not really that big a concern. Is that if is this a copper copper drop off? If another train comes in, if that second train comes in while this one's still here, the second train is going to come to this depot. Because they're both copper drop off, so it's going to come to the top the copper drop off that's empty. And so if it comes to this one, then this is going to fill up. This one doesn't plug into anything. So something I can consider doing, which at the time for the time being, I might just like let this guy fill up and let this all, and that that'll be that. No, I take it back. I don't want to do that because if that happens, then I'll have a train out of commission because he'll still have stuff in him, and this will be full, and then he'll just wait here. You know, in infinitely. So let's merge these two together. I'm glad I kind of thought of that. All right, and this is the whole purpose of this resource interchange area. Is to do exactly what I'm doing right now. So here we go. Let's just do an 8 to 4 for the time being. I can change it later. I went the wrong way again. Here we go. 8 to 7, 8 to 6, 8 to 5, 8 to 4. 8 to 4. And there. Cool. Upgrade all of that. Neat. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is going to be kind of cool looking. Oops, that one. And that one. Okay, ditto that here. There we go. Eight merges in, four comes out. Oh my god, come on, fix it. There we go. And this will ensure that I'm pulling from, from both of these factories at once. So no matter where the train goes, I'm still going to be using that product. So, And this is also going to increase my throughput a little bit too, because um, now I'm using 
twice the amount of copper storage. Yeah. So, there we go. And both trains buggered off. And this one should come to a stop right there. Now, what I normally do, and I'll show you this next time or some other time. See, I have the two trains waiting. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll do a bypass so there'll be a place for this train to go and come around. Right now, if any train comes out of this intersection going this way, he's trapped because there's only one way for him to go, which is into the back of one of the other trains. The, the reason I'm okay with that is because there's only one stop out here. When this coal patch fills up, I'm going to need bypasses. Like if I tap this coal patch or if I go somewhere else, I'm going to need bypasses so that a train coming out here can always find a way back home and can drive around a train that's that stopped waiting for something. So here we go. He goes off and then he comes in. There we go. And then the coal patch just keeps on going. Fantastic. So that completely fills up all of the coal. Let me not get hit by the train. There we go. Grab my car and I'll drive back to base. There we go. Increasing throughput. We've doubled the copper that we need. Um, We've doubled the copper plates that we have. And we are now waiting for our productivity modules, which is going to help us uh, with our red circuits. And then pretty much every product down the line thereafter. All right, let's just take one more brief look at it, since I'm nearby. Let's crash into stuff, crash into that too. Yes, now the copper is backed up, which is what I want. Cool. Come on, man, grab it. Close, turn off my, turn off my backpack. Here comes some more productivity modules. Donka. And get that out of my inventory. 24. So very cool. Let's see how many of these can I fit in here. Perfect. The exact amount. Perfect. So all of these are productivity modules, which means they are operating. We're just on the right side. It says 12%. So now all of this, I'm producing 12% more red circuits than I previously was. We will have to wait a couple cycles to to actually observe the effect of that. But anyway. All of this is working towards increasing, right now, our yellow, um, what do you call these? Yellow science, um, output. Because it's been a while since I got any research done. See this artillery thing? It's just slowly creeping. So, and that is primarily because of the, these guys. Which I will be productivity moduling next. So, there we go. Stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys being here. Um, I, yeah, I really appreciate you guys taking time to hang out with me. And uh, leave me a like, comment if you, uh, if you like what you saw and you want to talk about it. Other than that, really appreciate you being here. And I will see you guys in the next episode.